What's up guys, welcome back, check it out. Today is April 27th, and look. First, With that being said, let's get to drop in this transmission. First thing we need to do is remove the shifter. Once we get the shifter out of there, we'll be able to jack up the car and uh, drop the transmission, but we can't do that with the shifter in place because it'll hit the edges of the transmission tunnel where it's cut for the shifter to come through. So we'll pop this baby out, then we'll jack the car up, and we should be able to drop the transmission nice and easy. I don't think it's gonna be too difficult, but you know how that goes. All right, now we should be able to pull this baby out of here. And there it is, our TKX shifter. Got the car jacked up, and of course, it's now starting to rain. Oh, clean Corvette. But that's all right, we're gonna keep pushing. It is officially raining now. My legs are getting soaked. Last bolt. All right, drive shaft should be ready to come out now. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Drive shaft is out. Got the transmission fluid drained out, so we're gonna keep at it here. I think we got like five more bolts to take out. Once those five bolts are removed, the transmission should drop. Four bolts. Four bolts left. Four bolts left, and look at this. I don't know if you guys can see the rain on camera, but it is coming down for sure. But at least we only have four bolts left until we can drop the TKX, and that is just to drop the TKX, we then have to go back under the car to remove the bell housing, clutch, flywheel, clutch cable, and then go in the car to remove the clutch pedal. But I'm mainly just concerned with dropping the TKX because I have had a few people reach out to me interested in purchasing the transmission. So I just want to make sure that the trans is out of the car and ready to go if need be. That said, although I have had a few people reach out to me about the transmission, nothing is official yet. So if you are interested in the Tremec TKX that's coming out of Ms. Parker, I'd say it has about 100 miles on it. If that Shoot me an email at javonmichaels at gmail.com or send me a message on Instagram. It's Javon Michaels. Hey, look, I wasn't going to start drinking this early, but the weather has left me no choice. So we are going to be sipping on a, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Glitterati, Glitterati Hazy Tipa, made with experimental hops. But check that out, boys. A 9.5%. Yes, sir. Your boy's getting lit. Pretty good. Update. Tipa stands for triple IPA. Gosh dang it, we ain't playing around out here. I don't know if any of you guys have ever pulled the transmission or dropped the transmission on your car in the driveway with about a foot, a foot and a half of clearance max. It's, it's pretty uncomfortable and I didn't think it could get any more uncomfortable until just now when I'm under there trying to work on the trans, trying to get the bolts out, and I'm laying in puddles 
of water from the rain and I'm just like you know I don't really want to complain I'm just saying it's not an ideal situation all right I got the top two bolts from the TKX removed those are the hardest ones to remove in my opinion because there's just not that much room to work with the ratchet gets like two clicks because it's it hits the transmission and then hits the transmission tunnel so those are difficult to get out but I got them out now the only two bolts that we have left to remove the transmission from the bell housing is one and two after we remove those two bolts we just gotta knock these two bolts out of the transmission cross member put a jack under the transmission remove the cross member back the transmission out and then drop it so we are almost there one that's two I just want you guys to know that I'm straight up pulling the transmission in my driveway while it's raining. I'm soaking wet, but we're almost there. So let's keep going. You should be able to pull the cross member out like so. Oh man, make sure we don't lose any of these spacers. All right, here goes nothing. All right, we're clear. Now we just gotta lower her down. Slowly. There she goes. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. All right, she's out, boys. Oh, I mean, she's out of the car. Now we got to get her pulled out. Ooh. Nice and easy. Ooh. Smooth operator. I'm tired, bro. All right. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. There it is, boys. The TKX is officially pulled out of Miss Parker. That happened uh, a lot quicker than I anticipated. Not, not actually pulling the transmission, but, you know, I thought we were going to have this trans in the car for a while. But it turns out. I changed my mind and we're putting an automatic in Miss Parker. So it's been real TKX. I think we had it in the car for like 11 months or something like that. And in 11 months, we only drove the car like five times, which is ridiculous. So that is another reason I kind of decided to go automatic because we don't really take this car out on cruises and stuff like that. The car is pretty much a race car. So we're going to start taking this thing to the track where it was intended to go uh, once we get the transmission deal all uh, sorted. So yeah, there's the TKX. You know what I just noticed? That I'm out here using this towel and it's a Ford towel. I don't know how I never knew that or never realized it. What are the odds? Quick lunch break, had to get Chick-fil-A, the spicy deluxe chicken sandwich with the waffle fries, gas. Ah. Right back to work. Got the starter removed. Now we can work on getting the bell housing, clutch, and flywheel removed. Two bolts left and we should be able to drop the bell housing. This one. Oh, 
long ass chew. Uh. Uh. That's it, boys. We done did it. I mean, almost. We, we, we done almost did it, boys. We just gotta get the clutch flywheel out. And we're done for the day. I still gotta get the uh, clutch pedal removed from inside the car and the clutch cable. The clutch cable's not really that big of a deal, but we gotta get the clutch pedal removed. But I'm probably just gonna do that tomorrow because I'm, I'm tired. But we are gonna keep rocking, get the clutch and the flywheel removed today. Yup. Yeah. Uh. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Flywheel. Wasn't expecting the shield to come crashing down like that, but you know, things happen. Transmission has fully been removed from Miss Parker. Look at the back of the block. Ooh, them AFR heads look good from back here, boy. Nice and shiny. Okay, there you have it, boys. All in a day's work. Miss Parker's TKX has officially been pulled check out the condition of the clutch the mcleod clutch which is for sale this is a 400 dollars clutch the pucks still have plenty of material left check out the flywheel that's also a mcleod aluminum flywheel super light i believe the flywheel is like 380 dollars i'll sell it for 250 the clutch is like 400 dollars i'll sell it for 250 Again, both of those things have like less than 100 miles on them. I'm keeping the starter. The quick time bell housing is for sale. I don't have any of the extra little things that come with it. All I have is the, the one ring fitted for the TKX. And uh, you can get the clutch fork and the ball and all that stuff. But I don't have the hardware for it. And I think I'm going to keep the back plate. So I'll sell this thing. I think they're like $980 or something like that. I'll sell it for like $750 without the hardware. That's a solid unit. The TKX, I'm asking $2,500 for it. They're like $2,900 or $29 and change online. The shifter obviously comes with the TKX, but the shift handle, this part right here, that does not come with a TKX when you purchase one, but I will go ahead and include it with the transmission to whoever purchases the transmission i'll also throw in the tremic shift knob shifter ball and yeah that's about it guys i have already started stacking up parts for miss parker's transmission swap we are only a couple main components away from a complete assortment of parts in order to swap miss parker over to an automatic transmission and i could not be more stoked about it but that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one be easy